comedian of the festival, Mr. Tom Meyer. How are we doing, Baltimore? Very excited for a city where you uh, where you walk around and everybody walking around looks like they're getting ready to audition for the fucking Maury Povich show, don't they? You ever notice? You ever notice how it's always like the scum of the earth that appear on that show? Like if you ever look at the topics of that show, the topic of the show is never something like you know. You didn't buy enough caviar for our state dinner with the U.S. ambassador to Papua New Guinea, no. Topic of the show is always something like, I masturbate thinking about my pregnant 17-year-old daughter so I can relive the memory. <laughs> Brace yourselves if you didn't like that one, all right? That's... <laughs> Really, I get below the belt real quickly. I get below the belt. What do you expect? I follow the Baltimore City Police Department on Twitter for fun. I do. You ever see their uh, Twitter feed? The Baltimore City Police Department basically tweets crimes right after they happen. They do. I'll be looking at Baltimore City Police Department's Twitter feed and they'll say stuff like, man shot twice in the chest on Cold Spring Lane. OMG. <laughs> Homicide detectives arrive on scene, laugh out loud. No witnesses reported, sad face. But, uh, you know, whenever I travel, because I travel a lot doing comedy, and uh, I tell people I'm from Maryland, people often ask me to describe Maryland, I tell them it's a tough state. All right, Maryland is a really tough state. Give you an idea of how tough we are? Our official state flower is the black-eyed Susan. The black-eyed Susan. You know you're from a really tough state when your official state flower sounds like a domestic violence victim? <laughs> Told you. <laughs> but uh, I actually do a lot of charity work. Uh, I work for a very good organization. Maybe some of you have heard of it. It's called Speed Meals on Wheels. Very good organization. We drop cases of Dexatrim outside people's homes. <laughs> it works, too, because we go back the next week like, that's our right. I'm a very good guy, I really am. I donate a lot. I donate a lot of things. Like I, I go out and get new clothes. I donate all my old ones to the Salvation Army. Have a lot of hangers left over. I donate them to my local women's health clinic. <laughs> you have a better reaction than they did whenever I do that. Let me tell you. Because I usually give them the plastic ones, and they don't. They don't like that. <laughs> but. Uh, I, you should be very proud of me because uh, I actually have uh, made a lot of financial contributions to uh, several organizations which uh, provide financial assistance to uh, single moms. Well, let me rephrase that. I go to a lot of strip clubs. I was at this one strip club. I saw the marquee sign out front. It said, tonight, amateur and high school dropout night. So purely out of curiosity, I decided to walk in. Sure enough, I'm not in there more than two minutes. This one girl comes up to me and goes, Hey there, sugar, you want to lap dance? I go, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, let me go put my baby down first. Aww. Hey, that is called responsible parenting, all right? <laughs> Guys, you know this. It's bad enough seeing the stretch marks right there without having the fucking kids screaming in the background, all right? It's like, can I have my five bucks back, please, lady? Thank you. Tell you a real experience I had. I went to a strip club in Alabama. Woo! You see some folks down there, let me tell you. I was in a strip club. I was seated next to this one guy. While the girl was dancing on stage, he was going, see a lot of interesting signs. I drove through, I saw a sign one time that said, Welcome to the Scumbia, Alabama, birthplace of Helen Keller. When you know what, there was nothing to see there. <laughs> Don't worry, they're not going to hear about this. <laughs> they reported this one news story. There's actually a church in southern Virginia where congregants are actually encouraged to attend naked. 
Yeah, everybody's naked. The people who go to church are naked. Even the, even the pastor, the guy who delivers the sermon, he is naked the entire time. That is creepy. Imagine getting to that one point, point, he'd just be tempted to go, and on the third day, Jesus froze again like this. That shit would never happen in a Catholic church because some kid would always go like, look, mommy, there's the pet snake father let me play with in the vestry. I seem to turn people off a lot to that, so uh, I'm going to get a little personal here. Get a little personal and uh, talk about my cat. My cat, he's at home waiting for me right now. I'll tell you why I have a cat, because a cat is just like a man. Oh yeah, my cat's my best buddy, he's my amigo, he's my padre, he's my soulmate. Yes, I love cats because cats are just like men. And a lot of people will say, no, Tom, you see, uh, cats, they're a lot like women. Men are a lot like dogs. No. Dogs definitely like women. I know this because I know if I had a dog, as soon as I get home, that dog would be at the front door like a woman and go, hi, 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 how was the show tonight, huh? Why'd you tell me all about it? Tell me all about it, huh? Hey, guess what? My sister called. She and her boyfriend just broke up. She's coming over this week, and she's going to tell us all about it. <laughs> no. None of that bullshit. I have a cat. A cat is a man's pet. Why? Because a cat acts like a man. Oh yeah, I know as soon as I get home, my cat, just like a man, is going to be sacked down on the couch going, Hey, what's up? You know my food dish is empty? My goddamn food dish is empty? And have you seen the state of my litter box? Huh? I know you don't flush the toilet, you sick fuck, after you use it. I know, because I try, because my litter box is so goddamn dirty. Refill my food dish, change my litter box, I'm going to sit here and watch TV. No, I'm not changing the channel. Well, I don't have thumbs. I can't. So. No, I'm not watching Animal Planet, fucking homo. I'm watching my favorite movie of all time, Old Yeller. Oh, yeah. That's where my cat and I have a lot in common. We both love watching things where stuff we detest dies at the end. He loves watching Old Yeller because of what happens to the dog. Just like I like watching the movie Titanic because of what happens to Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> And my girl, because of what happens to Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> you guys, thank you very much for having a good sense of humor.